every one of you watching this screen. Look out. Anything can happen in the next half hour. What did I tell you about cartoons? They've got a lot of brains, and they've got a lot of kutzpah. Tell me how comic books make you feel, Dave. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me sure. Hi, this is Franz Cantor, cartoonist, illustrator and toon talker and I'm here with Jim Bridges and I'm the president of the Australian Cartoon Museum. So what are we doing today? The art of DreamWorks Kung Fu Panda. Hachi Dachi! Ha! <laughs> so that's terrible. Uh, I'll order, can I get that with black bean sauce? Um, the Art of Kung Fu Panda by Miller Zanecki is a Titan book release. And um, it is a great book. This is a great film. It's a really fun film. I was, I was really um, taken taken by surprise by this film. I was convinced that you know uh, DreamWorks. Now nah, n- uh, it was a pale um, Disney um, knockoff. Ooh. And then, Ooh. well, I was upset by a lot of their other films. Yeah, but look, they just plug into Asian art. I mean, they can they can raid so much of Asian art. Who can? Does they have the filmmakers? Oh yeah, for this, yeah. yeah. Well, the the whole thing about uh, Kung Fu Panda, you know, pandas like the the um, symbol for uh, for Asia, for China, definitely. So um, expanding China. Really beautiful production art yes. for this this movie. Yes. Really beautiful. Um, and the credits, the both the opening credits, the the stories. The backstories of the heroes of the famous five, or, or I think they're called the, the the famous five, the fighting five, or whatever they're called. There's Jack Black as Poe. Which one's Jack Black? Yeah, the one on the left. Yeah, but oh. you can see how beautiful the designs are. You know, the color and the character designs have just invested so much imagination into these. Mm. And, uh, of course, these are playing on the beautiful Chinese um, uh, landscape paintings from uh, historical landscape paintings, you know, the sort of magical kingdoms. So, yeah, and this is like, these are storyboards of a a fight sequence. This this whole sort of semi-stylized... Oh. Treatment of the for the credits and, and it's, like the, goal, the it's like the gold rush for animators. They're walking yeah. around and picking up gold off the ground because there's so much in Asian art. It, like here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm. Mm. Swifter, higher, rounder. Yeah, beautiful. So you could cut that out and whack it on your wall. Yeah. So this is Nicholas Marlet who does a lot of uh, character designs. You can see his particular style. Um, Really beautiful. The, the way that they've used the illustrators and the cartoonists in this show, um, you know, to create these beautiful assets, beautiful characters. Tiger was beautiful. They work so well together. Yeah. You know, each one is is uh, individual. Like it's a marvelous um, ensemble cast. But you could see all the different shapes and the different character characteristics of the animals that they're representing. You know, the monkey and the tiger and the turtle, the snake. You know, I thought the snake was funny. Um, what can you do with a snake? Well, actually do quite a lot. There's, there's quite a lot of invested um, uh, imagination into the antics of each of the particular characters. Just just bend it. Bend it like that. Yeah. Like Beckham. That's it. Yeah. So it's and brilliant it stuff. Bit, this yeah. is another concept art. Oh, I love this part of it. The character, or the yeah, the character, and just, just the crane. shape. Yeah, the shapes were just fast. Well, the, the, really the sucked whole... into the shapes, you know. Yeah, well, it's the variety of the show. Yeah, the variety of the characters, you know. So each of these uh, production art pieces, um, a lot of them don't make it into the show, but they're sort of um, instructive in a way that gives 
uh, a wider idea of what the character's capabilities are in terms of range of expressions or, um, you know, just little... Uh, See, even the shadow stuff, you know, like... It, yeah, well, that happens with a bamboo I know, but forest. the lights, all that, they don't it's normally get it in animation. Look at the storyboards. Beautiful. Yeah. Look at the characterization. So, with uh, an animated feature or an animated show, anything animated, the storyboards is the most uh, important part of the uh, of the business because that's where you tell your story. You know, it's not about the script. In, in some cases, the script is a secondary um, um, concern. The most, <laughs> the main concern is the design of the characters, mm. which open up a possibilities mm. of ex, you know all each each expression, you know links to a possible antic or possible um, uh, uh, adventure or something happening that you know that is perfect for the story or for the character's story the character's journey so this is a hero's journey story okay like luke skywalker where you've got the the main character poe is a, a panda bear and he uh gradually realizes his um internal don't give it away. Don't give it well, away. It's, the, it's like the force, right? It's probably three people so out there who haven't like, seen the film yet, you know? Yeah, so Kung Fu is like the like the force. This is this is Poe's father. Okay. Yeah. So that's In, funny enough. Intermarriage. Love intermarriage here, you know, intermarriage. The well, villages. that's his adopted father. Oh, yeah. Oh, good, good. Now, the pigs are very, um, very funny. The, the pigs, the rabbits, all of the, the geese... Um, it's just it's just really funny these uh, characters are not like tigers and pandas and things like that they're almost like food in a way yeah the background characters peasants so yeah it's peasants. like the peasants they're, they're sort of like you can find them in a Chinese restaurant menu where you can find anything in a Chinese even a well I mean in, in a Western Chinese menu you know like alligator alligator all crocodiles not crocodiles. This is uh, Nicholas Marlet again. It's beautiful stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he just rips out these characters. You know, yeah. they're just even though they're, these are little background characters, each one are like yeah. incredibly um, versatile, and they have incredible oh. personalities. Isn't so it? there's also a show that that happens after this. There's three versions of this film so far. I think they're going into a fourth one. But there's a show. There's a DreamWorks TV show. And um, the Furious that's pretty five. good too. The Furious Five. The Furious Five, yeah. Right. So there is. Yeah. yeah, but look at the look at the. Um, it's like Ep a tapestry, like epic, a gold epic, yeah. gold foil, gold leaf. Yeah, I mean they're just antique. ransacking all the different. Um, well, they're exploring it. Yeah, as but a they're vehicle. ransacking it as well. You know, like there's just way, so yeah. much they can choose from from Asian art. There's mm. just, and no one's really probably done it in the West. Mm. Even colours and composition. Yeah. That's a beautiful painting. The use of reds and gold together in particular. And look at this. Look at that. That's just... Who did this? Nicholas Mullet. Oh. Yeah. He just, he, he just rips out these. Just absolutely, you know, knocks them out. Yeah. Beautiful. Be beautiful, yeah. Beautiful work. More of Nicholas's stuff. So he has a very fluid style, which is perfect for these uh, movements that these mm. characters have to exemplify. Here he is, here is the character um, Tigress in a, a f like a twisting leap. Look, have to land on their feet but he's using a paw there, you know. Yeah, so they have to learn a little bit about um, Completely Kung upside down at that stage, so the turn is... Yeah. Ah, look at that. It's almost yeah. like a, a freshetta drawing, isn't it? With the pyramid uh, yeah, yeah, construction. Yeah. Oh, there's more Nicholas. Oh, oh, you'll see a lot of Nicholas in here. Nicholas Marlitz. Beautiful. Work. You can see within, you know, like quite stylized, but you know, very, very expressive. Look at this. Beautiful work. <laughs> it is so funny. Yeah. It is so funny. Yeah. And the lines are just. Yeah. The combination mm. of straights mm. and curves. Mm. Yeah. More Nicholas Marlet again. 
This is the um, so Master he, Monkey. So he's the main character designer. <laughs> uh, yeah, he would be the main character designer for the film. Yeah, definitely, because he has it just fits. He's done such a, a really good job mm. on all the characters. Mm. I mean, they still get illustrators in to do, you know, beautiful renderings like this to give more um, oh, the, the zany expression. Look at the arm on that. Just, the, I mean, it's yeah. so. Well, besides coming at you, it's almost awkward, but it's beautiful. Yeah, it's Jackie Chan's voice, yeah. of course. Mm. Beautiful. Master Viper. <coughs> See, nothing he can't do. We're lost for words. Yeah, Nicholas we're, we're, is... We're literally is, lost for words. This stuff so, He's sort of so beautiful. honed in on the, um, the characters really, really quickly and uh, efficiently. And um, has given this um, Master Mantis. This is like echoes of uh, Bugs yeah, Life that or is, yeah. Ants. Yeah. That's really nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because they're sticking to the so um, you're exploring the, the possibilities the of the kung angles. Fu poses. The ang yes, but also the angles that the you know these shapes of the figure can create. To give you more um, emphasis, this character is probably my favorite. My favorite, Master Ugwe, which is such a subtle exploration of age, um, uh, Asian um, wisdom. Well, no, no, ancient is really yeah. ancient. Yeah. So look at the way that Nicholas has designed the shell. You know, it's it's. I mean, it's amazing, and the 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 way that the. Um, the character creates these uh, beautiful shapes and poses based on both his expression, like he's, you know, very, he's a very good-hearted character, you know. He's so, been around a long time. Yeah. This is the main um, villain, Tai Lung, of course, is sort of a snow leopard. Very interesting Look, shapes cool. he's exploring here. Yeah. Beautiful stuff. You know, so it's it's breaking out of the DreamWorks mold of cookie cut characters, which I've disliked, and that's why I was so impressed by uh, Kung Fu Panda because it was like, oh, thank God they've they've um, they've not resorted to cookie cutting. Cookie cutting is something that uh, I've noticed a lot in films, both Disney and DreamWorks and Sony and a lot of other films. Well, it, it's money, isn't it? It's money. It well, so before, using let's loot the same characters from another film in yeah, slightly in, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I've never seen Crocs like that. Yeah, never. Yeah, but they're they're still they're really really well done. You they're, know, they're a long and way he, from Fantasia. These guys. Yeah, but look way. at the way that he's able to get these expressions yeah. and the key poses of the characters. Yeah, you know, they're really incredible. Yeah. <laughs> this is Nicholas again. <laughs> mm. But just in drawings, you know, just in the drawings, he's able to get just nail it, nail these characters and the and the the right. essences of the the essence of the um, mm. of the the purpose of the character. You can't go wrong story. with rhinos, can you? Mm. They use them in lots of films now. This is Poe. Yeah. Another dream sequence where he's actually the the um, chosen one, the the hero. This is a storyboard sequence, I think. No, this is the animated sequence. This is the animated sequence in tile form. This is dream sequence of being the um, the chosen one, the hero. Isn't that a beautiful picture? Mm. Hold it out again. Yeah, it's just got those wonderful zen-like yeah. zen lines, you know what I mean? Mm. Like but Nicholas explored no, 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 no. the curves oh, yeah. and the Chinese clouds but as it's well. Got, it's got those, it's got those zen-like one line, you know? Yeah. What, you know, with that, the, the, the pen... Oh, this is Fantasia, isn't it? Mm, Night on Bald Mountain. Yeah. So this is from the animated sequence, the... And this is... Within the film. This is this film noir. Film noir in, a lot of in it, animation. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, but it, it's to create a um, dream sequence. Yeah, mood, yeah. So it was a really good idea to do yeah. this in 2D. 
Yeah. Yeah, the blues. I remember the chi typical Chinese colours and yeah, mountains. Yeah. And Actually, been to China and I saw a lot of this. I couldn't believe it. I just thought it was in art. Yeah. Because I come from such an old country where we don't have any um, mountains. And well, Scotland? No, Australia. Oh. And of course, you know, our, we, we don't have tall things like this. I mean, mm. where they're rounded off because our, our, our landscape is one of the oldest in the, in the world. Yeah, it's been flattened out. Yeah. So these are just different explorations of uh, illustrators exploring all the different props. You know, the peach tree is actually an important uh, aspect of the story. Um, yes, well. They're just ways of. Uh, see, everything is important in an animated film. So it's the rope the bridge. story devices. Oh, know, I remember the second The rope. Yeah. yeah. The rope bridge is. That's is the a best rope bridge system. in cinema. Yeah. There's a few of them. Yeah. It's better than um, the, the indie, indie one. Yeah. It's got all the peaks. Beautiful. There is another rope bridge, actually, if you guys uh, want to go into rope bridge uh, etiquette. There's a, there's a good rope bridge uh, in Samurai Jack. Is there? Mm. Better with, than that with, one? With a Scotsman! Scotsman? Mm. I think it's called the Scotsman. So, I mean, that looks like Pompeii, doesn't it? Mm. <laughs> yeah. So this is the architecture. Ooh, look at those peaks. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Really beautiful designs. Rich colours. Chinese yeah. colours this are very rich. Jade Palace. And, yeah. So. As opposed to the Jade Gate. Yep. So this is, you know, beautifully the whole sequence of this with um, these rich colours of greens. Um, it's just a magical uh, sequence. The amount of work that went into this film, they should all be very, very proud. It's just an amazing effort. Well, it, and it just paid off. It worked. Well, yeah, this sequence is the training bit. That's yeah, really funny. It is funny, and it's almost you're thinking, God, while you're watching it, you think, God, there's about twelve um, games alone just in that sequence. You know what I mean? Mm. Of course, this character Poe, yeah, is really interesting because. The way he, he is in all the landscapes, he sort of doesn't belong in any of them. But, he, you know, he does, so what they do work, you know, they just... Yeah. It's a lot of shape and line, which well, he, he, fascinated he, me about He's this not job. brown, he's black and white. So everything, he's also, he's yeah. like a, a living... Um, um, See, this, this incredible richness of colour. Tau symbol. You just don't get this. I mean, they they can do this because that's that's the culture. That's that's the history. Mm. Mm. These are just explorations of the different landscapes because China is such a big place. They want to give you an, a feeling of journey. Yeah. So the, both the bad guy makes a journey from the prison to the temple, Jade Temple, and you know Po has a journey and he has this sort of. Incredible. That's the, the cast. The um, this is the physical the credits, folks. Let's see yeah. where the director is. Where Look is at them director? all up there too. Where's down the there, down up there. here, up here. Yeah, they're up to and coming down. And where's the director? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there's the panda in the middle. Mm. Where's Jack? Can't see Jack. He's probably doing rock and roll again. You know. oh, Acknowledgements. Well, we've got. Them. And look, yeah, this is this is so Chinese. The end paper. Prepare for awesomeness. What's going on? What's this? A freebie. What's? Ooh, Jack. Jack Black. Kong oh, Man. I see. That's a that's an official poster. So Gee, that's great. A smaller isn't it? version of yeah. the official poster. Mm. Yeah, beautiful. Nice colors. pants. Nice pants. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love this. The way that the. Yeah. Um, yeah. The radiated spiral. Sun. Um, well, it's Japanese, but the Japanese pinched everything from China. <laughs> everything. And don't tell the Japanese that. <laughs> oh, they know. They know. Oh well. Well, what was, do you think? Well, I think that's one of the best films um, I've ever seen. I frankly. do too. I think yes. I, Kudos to DreamWorks, and um, this is a great book if you want to reference the film. Um, see the film a hundred times. Um, definitely the two D part of the film. Um, and as I said it. before, it's it, the soundtrack's great. 
Yeah. You could watch it without the pictures and you can yeah. watch the pictures without the good. soundtrack as well. Yeah. Which I suggest you do because it's just so beautiful. Yeah. And the richness, the reds, so much red in it. Okay. Well, that's it for us and uh, we'll catch you next time. Okay. Bye-bye. S- Sayonara. Thanks for the sour persimmons, cousin.